Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Nick Toy World. Uh, today I'm going to review and open uh, Diamond Select uh, Hulkbuster Iron Man Mark II. This is a uh, Diamond Select uh, PVC statue and it was scoped by uh, Gentle Giant. So before I open the uh, the package, so let's check it out uh, what comes in uh, this box, right? So this is like a window clear box. Um, you know, it's pretty much sim similar to any other Diamond Select. And on the, on the back, they have some uh, story about, you know, Hulkbuster and why he come in here and how he related to Avenger Infinity War. And actually, he appeared during the Infinity War. Not a whole lot of action uh, with uh, Hulkbuster Mark II, but he does appear, he did appear in um, Avengers Infinity War. So designed by Joe uh, Allard and um, scoped by Gentle Giant Studio. So uh, the package, you know, similar. I mean, it it's not great. It it's just a, a window package with the uh, clamshell inside. So I'm gonna start open this box and check what inside. Okay. Okay. So tape. By the way, um, usually with this type of box, I uh, I don't keep the box around. First of all, it takes a lot of space. Second, it's not it's okay, it's not great at all. You know, it just uh, it's just similar like to any uh, China toy, but this is a Marvel Select, so uh, and of course they make in China. Okay. So, it's pretty much a, a plastic statue and no articulation at all. Um, you can see here is a scope, is static, and beneath that, and uh, pretty much that's it. And they come with, I know, this is the thing for you to register, licensed product from Diamond Select. So, this is like Select, and, and here it is. And this is the, uh, the Hulkbuster. Mark II, you know what? I'm not very impressed with this particular figure at all um, in terms of paint job. I think it looked pretty bad. Uh, even worse than uh, um, a crazy toy that I got from China. This one, the paint was me over the place. The scope is not as sharp. I mean, um, it came like 50 bucks, but I don't know. You know what? If I had to buy again, I wouldn't get this figure at all. It, uh, it's not a very good, uh, in, in my opinion. You know, even though the pole kind of cool, right? I mean, stand like this, but uh, it, you know, it, uh, I mean, the paint is not so good. It is smear over the place. Let me see, show you what, what 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 I'm talking about here. You see, the paint is like this, and and smear over here, and then paint over here. So they don't they didn't do a good job with the paint even though the red paint is a shiny red and look pretty cool but uh, other than that it, it uh, it's not a whole lot of detail that I am expecting you know from like a Hulkbuster Mark II um, so I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna bring in my Hulkbuster Mark II from Crazy Toys it's a little bit smaller size but for you to compare and to take a look all right Let me give you some closer look of this uh, figure for, and then you can judge for yourself. Uh, you see the, the paint right here looks like a mess. Okay, This thing looks suck over here. Going down. I mean I have to say this is a cool pose, but it's not a. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't like it. See, smear over the plate over here, and on the back, um, uh, it, the paint is not so good. Very thick. I hate thick paint. Thick paint looks cheap, you know. Um, and the detail over here. Okay, and the arm.
I don't know what kind of pose this looks like. He um, he kind of dancing or something. <laughs> Interesting pose, actually. All right, that's it. Here it is, the cold shot again on the back. And here it is. This is Hulkbuster Mark II from Crazy Toy. As you can see, the color a little bit more deep red, and the paint is, you know, it it much better than this way. Uh, you see a lot of smear and everything like that here and the number of, of uh, detail I mean a higher detail than that picker I don't know I don't know what happened with that uh, that scope that gentle giant usually they did a good job of detail but this one is not so much of detail um, you see I mean and this guy you know you get a 30 some bucks with and then even with light uh, turn on you see then LED on the chest and, uh, and everything right here it's pretty cool right but the problem here this guy is very small um, and and they're not as big as this guy this is almost like 10 inch uh, tall and it's uh, statue and not a whole lot of I mean actually there's zero articulation it just stand like this and gonna be stand like that forever right for this one uh, actually you know, it appears that you can move around, but I don't think I can move either. Um, but it had more detail. And um, I have another Hulkbuster Mark 1 from Crazy Toy as well. You see this figure? Highly detailed figure. Um, and even though they, they're pretty much like static pole, but they have a lot more detail on these guy than this guy. Okay? Um, I don't know what happened to this one. It, it, it um, Maybe because they make like a static pose and and uh, but uh, I mean the paint actually killing it. Um, okay, well, it's fifty bucks of stuff. You know, I'm not gonna return this thing, but you know I'm gonna keep that. But it it it's not a very good. Uh, I mean I love Hope Buster, but for this one is it's okay. You know it uh, it to me whether it's it not worth fifty bucks at all. Okay, even though it's a big size, heavy, like a solid plastic, but not worth it. Okay, so here it is, all my three uh, Hulkbuster, uh, one Hulkbuster Mark II, Crazy Toys, uh, Diamond Selects, and this one is Hulkbuster Mark I Crazy Toy with LED and stuff. So, here are the collections. Alright. That's it guys, thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe for more video. Thank you, bye bye.